how to change key digital IP address. Unfortunately, key digital matrix doesn't support DHCP. So if you try to control it over IP and it's not on the same range than your router, you will have to do this tricky operation. And yes, it's the only way. By default, the factory IP address of the matrix is 192.168.0.239. If your router is not on the same range, you will have to set your computer a static IP in the same range, like 192.168.0.5. I go quickly here because Windows Static IP is not the purpose of this video. If you need any assistance with this, see the video on the upper right corner. I'll explain you how to do it. You will need Putty, which is a free application that you can download from the link in the description below. You must set the Putty connection type to Telnet and be sure it's on port 23. Now type the matrix address 192.168.0.239. If you reach that black box, we're all good. If not, you will need Angry IP Scanner to scan every addresses and find the matrix. The link to download Angry IP is also on the description. Or you can also use Thing on your phone. I explain how to use Thing on the video on the upper right corner. Now let's come back to that beautiful black box. Type H, then enter. Type H and enter again. What happened here is that the matrix shows us every possible command you can send. By example, at the top, you have instruction to change EDID settings. Lower here, we have instruction for IP settings. So first, we want to change the IP address so it come back on the same range of your router. This is an example for my setup. It may be different for yours. Highlight the first option, then right-click. Now hit space and input the wanted IP address for the matrix and hit enter. The second one here, we don't need to change it. The net mask is usually remain the same. Finally, we want to change the router address, also known as the default gateway. Again, this is an example for my setup. If you do not know what is your default gateway, I explain how to find out on the video on the upper right corner. Do not do as I did by adding few more later at the end. Just hit enter. It was a mistake, but it has worked. Now send this one last common. This one will apply your settings and reboot. You can close this window and set your computer back to DHCP. And you're done. As you can see, under DHCP, I can now find it with Angry IP Scanner, meaning that it has worked. If you have any question, please ask in the comment below. So this is it. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps. Don't forget to subscribe. What do you see back there? It's from my main channel. Please come take a look at this right there. Thank you for watching again. See ya.